ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the Colton Roy Show. And now, here's your host, Colton Rice. Oh God, I I forgot to um, <laughs> I, I I that wasn't supposed to go off. I just want to tell you guys that was not supposed to go off. That Price is Right losing horn that was not supposed to go off. Oh man, this is a great start to the show. Oh boy, it was just supposed to be nothing, like no sound effects at all, just me introducing myself and stuff and blah 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 yada yada yada. Well. That, 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 that's good. That's a great start to the show. Freaking fantastic. Freaking fantastic. Oh, boy. Well, anyways. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as my, you know, intro said, I am Colton Rice. Hello, how you doing? And welcome to the first ever show of the Colton Rice Show. Now, you're probably wondering, what is this show? Like, what is the show? What is it? What is it all about? And and what, what, what am I going to be, you know, um, talking about and stuff? Well, if you were a regular viewer on um, WDG Underground Columbus, you probably recognized me as Big C in the Morning. But unfortunately, that show has, you know, come and gone. Uh, the reason why that show has now, is now, like, no longer there is because, well, I had to end it because of, um, I basically had no transportation to the studio, to the WDG studio, and due to that, I had to end the show, and thus canceled a bunch of crazy things I wanted to talk about, not, well, not really technically crazy, but interesting topics and stuff so um yeah that happened and then you know after two and a half years of just being away from all the fun stuff I was doing I was like you know I might as well get back to what I'm used to and talking about you know topics that I want to talk about and you know just Stuff that might interest you. Because, you know, obviously people need to be, you know, entertained for about an hour. But, that's not how this show is going to go. And I will explain more as the show um, goes along. So, yeah. So... You're probably asking yourself, what uh, what have I been doing for the past two and a half years since I've been off, off the air on Facebook? Well, I've been working a lot, you know, just trying to make some money, trying to save up for stuff and stuff. Basically, stuff and stuff. Um, you know, just relaxing a bit. Uh, playing a lot of good games recently. Um... I played this um, remaster of Pac-Man World. That was that was pretty good, but it could have you know um, stopped all the like. It could have been a little bit more easier, but eh. Um, I saw some movies. Um, I saw Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. That was that was it was okay. It was okay. I mean, Sam Raimi he did his best, but. You know, I feel, I feel like since, you know, um, it's been a while since he's done a superhero movie. I thought, I thought he did okay in his return to a superhero movie. Um, I saw Spider-Man No Way Home and it was the best movie I ever seen. Seriously, it was. Um, I will explain more about it in another show. Uh, I saw Scream 5, even though it was just called Scream. Uh, that was actually pretty good. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Um, 
yeah. And also, uh, just want to let you guys know, um, I've been battling like a little bit of a sore throat, a little bit of a cold, um, for the past couple of days now. Um, so I was worried the show might not happen, uh, this Friday, but thankfully it has happened. And, um, yeah, so if I wasn't, you know, 100% ready to go, there might not have been a show, I might have been in my bed recovering, but luckily, I got better, everything is all good, I am like 95% all good, Um, just not to that full 100%, there's still a 5% thing, but I'll be fine, Um, I also got Gatorade with me, so that's, that's a plus, so yeah, and I know there's a lot of Gatorade drinkers, because there's like, Tons of people that drink Gatorade. <coughs> mm, excuse me. So yeah, I'll get the usual occasional cough, but don't worry. It's Gatorade time. Ah, that's delicious. What did, what Gatorade did I get? Is it Glacier Freeze or is it Cool Blue? It's Glacier Freeze. So yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. So back to what I was talking about. Um... So yeah, just been relaxing, watching a lot of movies, watching a lot of um, TV, watching a lot of Netflix, playing video games. I got to experience Mario Party 1, the uh, the game that wasn't released for virtual consoles ever on the Wii and, Nint- and, and the Wii U. If you don't know what a Wii and a Wii U is, it's basically Nintendo's like um, two systems, one successful, one didn't. The Wii was successful and the Wii U was not for some reason. Um, yeah, it, it finally got released on virtual consoles for the Nintendo Switch. And I have to say, I thought it'd be a little bit... I thought it'd dominate in Mario Party. But it turns out the computer can actually beat you in this. Because they're not fooling around. So, yeah. Uh, playing Mario Party Superstars, which is actually pretty good as well. Um, it's basically like um, some some of the Mario Party boards and some of the Mario Party mini games from like all the Mario Parties I think rolled into one. But I don't think it's it, I don't think it includes Super Mario Party or any of the DS ones or the or any of the Game Boy Advance Mario Parties. I think it's just Mario Parties one through ten, and not Super Mario Party, Mario Party DS, or Mario Party Advance. Or Mario Party Island Tour, which I know that was a game. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. Um, whew, uh, the new Mario Golf was pretty good. Um, it's golf. It's Mario Golf. Um, I bought a GameCube because I, I've been wanting a GameCube, even though I only had like a PlayStation 2 during my childhood. So I finally got to, you know, um play the uh, play the GameCube for real. Uh right now I have like all the Mario Party for GameCube. Um I also have um Mario Kart Double Dash which was pretty good. And I also got Super Smash Brothers Melee which I'm still getting used to it. I will, I will uh, be, be um, the champion of that. So yeah. Um. And I just been really, you know, building up my Ohio State um gear since some of you may not know I am an Ohio State fan, basically a diehard Ohio State fan, and basically. Um, I just been getting a lot of Ohio State gear, like a lot of shirts, um, a lot of jerseys. I recently bought a 1942 Ohio State jersey that they wore against Michigan back in 2010, where they beat them 37 to seven. But you know, it got vacated by a organization called the Big Ten for some reason. But uh, 
We don't talk about that because, you know, we all know we won that. We all know we won the Big Ten. We should be ha- we should have like 40 Big Ten championships right now, but, you know, tattoo gain stuff, it, it, it just, you know, sad. Plus, there were some lawmakers, you know, telling the NCAA, hey, give us our wins back. NL, NI, NIL is now a thing. And yeah, we'll get into... Name, image, and like this at a show, and um, tell you guys all about that, because um, that was a thing that um happened, and I will, I will tell you, I was happy when that happened because it was a specific thing, but I won't tell you what it is until another show, another time on the show, because that that the the only way I will tell you guys about this is on another show because this is not oh we're getting straight down into topics right away this is a show about you know hey where have i been and what's been going on lately and also what has happened the past two and a half years so yeah um yeah um a lot of people i know are getting married which is crazy I feel like marriage is going up every time I, you know, just get on social media. Like, boom, marriage proposal. Boom, marriage proposal. Boom, we're getting married. Boom, we're getting married. It's crazy. Everyone that I have, like, known is either married, getting married, or already married. Which is pretty insane. Well, not really insane, but pretty amazing. And come to think of it. Since, like, all the people I know are, like, getting married, about to get married, already married. Why haven't I got married? Like, seriously. Well, here's the thing. Um, I, I don't think I might get married. Who knows? I don't know. I want to, but, eh, stuff happens. But then again, I want to start a family. But, you know, that's talk for another time. Besides, I don't want to get into my sadness and say, Oh, I'll never get married and stuff and blah, blah, blah. (laughs) No girl will ever like me. Because that's not what this, this first show is all about. It's about, you know, hey, here's how this show's going to go down. Here's what's been happening in my life. And yeah. So, yeah. Also, um, one of my best friends, she got, um, engaged and she's also having a baby, which, that's pretty easy, but that's pretty cool. Didn't think it would happen that fast, but pretty cool. Um, let's see. Hmm. What else has happened? Huh. Oh, Yeah. There's been a lot of train derailments recently. You never know. You you never thought that there there would be train derailments happening in America. But then again, the train system is still in use today. Like seriously, trains are still used to transport goods slash services slash equipment and stuff. Why? Like we have planes. We have planes to, you know, like planes and helicopters. You just get a cargo bob and, you know, or or an aircraft, like some Titan or whatever it's called, that big giant airplane that I usually see in Grand Theft Auto. You get one of those to transport your, your you know, your goods. But no, we still use trains and the rails are failing us. I don't know if the, like the train track like the train track is failing the trains or is the or the um like the cars are just you know malfunctioning if you ask me there should be like um there should be just you know um redoing of the uh, tracks like they redo the tracks like fix them up and stuff but then again who knows um So, yeah. Um, Ooh. 
I just remembered something about myself. Um, I got, I've been getting a lot of cool shoes. Um, yeah, I've been really investing my money into shoes. I'm becoming a bit of a sneakerhead for some reason. But, I'm not going to go that crazy. I'm not going to go that crazy about being a sneakerhead, but then again, it might happen, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to go like totally crazy. I'm just going to, you know, if I see a sneaker that I like and I want, I'm probably going to buy it. Like there were, there were these SpongeBob SquarePants shoes that I wanted, but, uh, I, I, I didn't get them for some reason. I should have, but I didn't. There's even these, like, Puma Pikachu shoes. Like, like Puma, they, they had to deal with, like, Pokemon to, or Pokemon, whatever, however you like to pronounce Pokemon. But I like, I, I don't know why I say Pokemon, but it's Pokemon. So, basically, Puma released these, like, Pokemon shoes that had the colors of Pikachu, Charizard, and I believe, I don't know if it was Bulbasaur or Squirtle. I think it was Bulbasaur. So, yeah, those were pretty neat. I wanted the Pikachu shoes, but they sold out, sadly, in my size. And same company, Puma with SpongeBob, those SpongeBob shoes I was talking about, I was like, Wow, Puma is getting all these like exclusive deals for characters and shoes. Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, what are you doing? But then again, Adidas has the Marvel rights. Um, I don't know if Nike has any. I know Nike has the NCAA rights to their Nike um team shoes. Um, let's see, uh, who else? I know Adidas has the rights to the Adidas team's shoes for, like, college. Like, college sports teams. Um, what else? Uh, I I know I've seen some, like, Puma the Batman, like, cleats. Like, cleats based off of the, the movie The Batman. And I have never seen that movie. I have not seen the Batman. Yeah. Be as be as shocked as I am. I have never seen the Batman. Reason why? I haven't had time. Just like I haven't seen Sonic the Hedgehog. I didn't have time. I was trying to make time for these movies, but unfortunately I I I just didn't make time. Did not make time. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah. It's weird how, you know, some shoe companies have, like, the exclusive deal to make these shoes based off of, like, superheroes, um, video games, cartoon characters. Because, um, a pair of shoes I have, um, they're a pair of Adidas Forum Lows. And they're in the colors of um, a particular South Park character that a lot of people know. And that South Park character is Eric Cartman. And I still have these shoes. And I've worn them. Um, I don't know if anybody has worn their South Park shoes. I'm pretty sure they would just keep them just to, you know, sell it on the market for millions of dollars later. In like, you know, some kind of historic auction or something. But I wear the shoes. Even if it was a limited edition shoe. Or a shoe that is forbidden to wear. Like shoe like shoe snobs say, hey, you do not want to wear this shoe. This shoe is going to make you millions later. I'm like, dude, no. I'm going to wear the shoe. Like, if it was a shoe that Michael Jordan wore, I would wear it. Like, seriously. I am not 
I'm like, I paid this amount of money for these shoes. I'm going to wear them. And every, and every, like, every, like, shoe snob is going to be like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, seriously. Shoes are meant to be worn. They're, they're going to get creased. It doesn't matter if they get creased. Like, if people like walk up to you and say, dude, those shoes are creased up. And I'm like, yeah, because they're shoes. The first pair of Air Jordans I wore, um, I creased them because they're supposed to get creased. They're always supposed to get creased. Like, the first pair of shoes that I ever bought, which were the Air Force Ones, and like, with like the red Nike swoosh, uh, red on the bottom, and then white on the rest. Um, they're creased, and I still wear them. Why? Because shoes are gonna get creased. They're gonna get creased. Obviously. So yeah. Alright, so I'm going to stop talking about shoes because I'm pretty sure a lot of people are getting bored of me talking about shoes. But we'll talk about shoes in another show. Right now, it's back to what I was talking about previously. Obviously, I'm getting sidetracked just like my original show. And that's why I know everything's going right because if I get sidetracked, then some I'm doing something right. So yeah. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I've been doing good, pretty good, except for a few times, um, which will be discussed, um, later in the show, um, and they both had to do something with Ohio State, I'm not gonna tell you what, but it will, it it will be, it will be discussed later on the show. And if you can guess what it, what those two things are that had to do with Ohio State, congratulations. You're about to see me um, um, be angry for a couple of minutes, possibly. Who knows? But yeah, everything's been good. Um, I recently got a new iPad. Um, I, I, I had a, a third generation iPad that is so slow. That I literally just use my phone for like movies and stuff. But I now have a new one. And I was I was going to use this new one to check on the live show. See how everything is doing. And like you know have my facts and information here. But unfortunately. Unfortunately. I forgot to charge it. I was like. You know I haven't charged it in a few days. I want to check up on how it's doing. Dead. 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 I pressed the home button. Nothing was coming up. I was like, oh, great. It's dead. And the right, and and the, the charger was next, is like close to my iPad because sometimes when my iPad is fully charged and my phone is like dying, I just switch that out. I unplug the charger to the iPad and plug it into my phone. Because they're both the same charger. They're the same charger. Seriously, it's that small little cable. Just charge it in. Plug it in. Boom. We're charging off. Charging. We're charging off to the races or whatever. You know. Do to do. Yay. Uh, yeah. So, I forgot to charge my iPad. But I will be checking. I will be checking the status of my iPad during the break and yes there will be breaks because I I I want breaks there should always be breaks and if they're not breaks then what what is the point because obviously I need my voice to you know get a little break and stuff and also need to check up on things and other stuff so yeah Huh. So yeah. 
Um, I think it's a good time for me to go to break right now. So, yeah. All right. So, I'm going to go to break right now. But when we come back, I'll explain um, what's the show going to be all about. I know I've explained a little bit, but going to go into deeper detail on this show. So, stick around. You are watching the Colton Rice Show exclusively on the Colton Rice Facebook page. So, yeah, we'll be right back. I'm <laughs> 
All right, we're back. Um, hopefully you like that in- intermission um, little thing I've made there. Um, that's going to be the uh, intermission for when I need to take breaks and stuff. And if you're wondering why I'm a little bit out of breath, it's because I, uh, I do help uh, carry groceries into the house. Um, yeah. And you're probably like, where are you recording your show? Like, where are you having your show live? Well, it's in the spare bedroom of my house. Of my house. So, yeah, I do not have, like, a studio. I have a, um, just a spare room. Which is fine. Like, I'm not rich. Like, I... I I'm not like, you know, that rich to, you know, you know, um, have my own studio because to have your own studio, it's like a billion dollars or something like something expensive. It may not be a billion dollars, but it's, it's pretty expensive to have your own studio and to like renovate and make sure it's all up to code and stuff. So yeah, but anyways, Let's talk about how, well, technically talk about what this show is going to be. It's basically going to be the same show you saw on WUDG Underground Columbus. If you even show my, if you if you even saw my show on WUDG Underground Columbus. Um, so yeah, it's going to be just like the show, same topics that I want to talk about. Um, but may I may change up the topics? Who knows. It's not going to be the exact same topics I, I, I already talked about. It's going to be the topics that I just want to talk about. And there may be some interesting topics that to talk about. There may be even topics that may even take the first half of the show. Because, you know, it's just that good. But you're probably asking yourself, um, Colton, you, uh, you have always taken half up of the show because your show was an hour and the topics you talked about took up one half well I am here to announce to you guys today that this show is going to be two hours long that's right this show is going to go from noon to two it's going to be a two hour show about me talking about topics I want to talk about and I will discuss them live here on the air. So yeah, this is basically, I've had this plan basically cooked up sometime in 2022. And like, it was sometime in 2022 I was thinking about this idea. I was thinking to myself, you know, um, I have not done a show like this in a while. I should start my own. But. <coughs> excuse me. But I was like. Yeah. I, I wanted to start a show. And I haven't done it in a while. I should start one. But. I was lazy. I was holding back on the idea. For a long, 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 long time. Because. I was just lazy. I was so lazy, in fact, that, you know, I just didn't get around to it. 
I wanted to start on I wanted to start the show the start of the year 2023 in January of some some Friday a Friday in January then again I also wanted to start the show back in like 2022 but I didn't get around to it because I was extremely lazy and therefore just didn't get around to it and then surprise I finally got around to it and I'm doing the show for you guys but uh, then again there was a little bit of me saying do I have enough time to get around this will I even get enough time to you know get to this and the answer was yes So here I am, getting around to doing a show that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And yeah, so basically, again, the show, going to be talking about topics I want to talk about, it's going to be an hour extension, so basically instead of one hour, it's going to be two hours, and then like, you know, um... Guests. That's the next thing I want to talk about. So, I only have one microphone and only two... Oh, some... I heard some... I heard some buzzing. I didn't know what it was, but I fixed it. Okay, so, back to talking about guests. I don't know if it will happen now or later. Because my laptop, it's a MacBook Air. It only has two USB ports. And I only have one headphone jack to listen to my my commentary. Make sure everything's going good. Um, the, the thing is... I do not have the technology to do that yet. Um, there, I have seen before about using Skype as a possible, you know, thing. But, you know, um, like Skype, Zoom, all that stuff. Um, or even using my phone as a way of communication um I just don't know I don't know if it's even possible but I would like to have guests on the show even though it's in a spare room in my house um it's probably gonna be have it's probably gonna be like you know distant like virtually so I'll probably have to figure out how to like get guests on the show either on Skype either or maybe Zoom or just through my phone because I would like to have guests on the show. I would. I would love to have guests on the show. But you know, I just don't have the um the skill to actually make that happen. If I could learn it from somebody, then yeah, I would be able to do that. Plus, I'd probably need some technology, like if a guest wanted to come into this, come into the spare room and do an interview, which I'm pretty sure it's not going to happen because I don't have an actual studio. If I did, then maybe yeah. But guests are probably going to be. Ugh, it's gonna be like a while before I have guests. Because I don't know. Um, I really want to have guests, but you know, again, stuff, technology, and just see if they're free and stuff. Maybe when this podcast actually, you know, takes off, and then maybe I can get some guests in here. Because I feel like I do well with guests. Because I have somebody talking. 
because I have somebody to talk to and stuff back and forth. But the thing is, right now, as it is, um, I just don't have a lot of... I'm just going to be working by myself talking about those topics. So, yeah. Just right now, don't have the skill, technology, slash blah, 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 whatever to do guests. Like, to have guests on the show. (coughs) But if I do get a chance to have some guests on the show, I will let you guys know. And the way you guys should know is if you follow this page. So follow my Facebook page and I will update you on anything that happens. Maybe I I could not be doing a show. Maybe it's a guest that's appearing. Or maybe a special presentation of the show. Who knows? Like seriously, I could have a show that happens like maybe at night as a special presentation. Who knows? But either way, it's it, anything can happen. Anything can happen. But then again, it might not happen. We just had to be patient. Patience is something that we have. But it's also something that I, that I kind of don't have. I have patience to wait, but sometimes I do not have patience to wait. Like, seriously. Especially the new Spider-Man movie that's coming out. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I do not have patience to wait until June. Because seriously. I want to see it now. I want to watch it now. But then again. The Super Mario Brothers movie is coming out. And I kind of want to see it. And I want to give you a review of that. If I even go see that movie. Because I really want to see the Super Mario Brothers movie. I mean it looks good. Even though it's kind of directed directed to kids, there's still some adults who like, you know, Super Mario. Even me, I'm an adult, I still like Super Mario. Heck, I'm wearing a Super Mario shirt right now. I am literally w- wearing it right now. And it has all the Mario characters on there. Seriously. And I also have like a Mario poster in my room. So, that's obviously tells you I, yeah, I do play Mario games. And I even talked about Mario Party. So, obviously, you already know I I like Super Mario. It's one of my favorite video game series of all time. Um, but yeah. Super Mario is the, is one of my favorite video game series of all time. Um, another one is Grand Theft Auto, but... (laughs) A lot of people like Grand Theft Auto. So, yeah. Uh, so, if you may recall on the WDG show, um, we actually had, like, music for the breaks. But, unfortunately, um, I don't have a license to play music on here. So... This is just a podcast for you guys. This is this isn't like an internet radio show that I used to do. This is just a podcast where, you know, um I just, you know, talk and stuff and during the breaks there's no music. There's just that intermission thing I created. And also there's like no commercials and stuff. Um Back when I did the Red Flag podcast on the Score and Air Network, we had, like, commercials and stuff for, like, theater people and then, like, Mojo Sports Gear and then, like, um, also promoting the school that I went to to do my radio show. So, yeah. Um, But right now we do, well, I do not have, um, like, commercials or music for you guys because... One, I don't have a music license, and two, I'm not sponsored. So, yeah. I do not have any sponsorship. But, if I were to have sponsorships, I'd be pretty happy. Um, what I'm going to do is set up a business email, and I will 
basically, you know, um, it'll, it'll basically be somewhere for, um, you know, businesses to sponsor the show because, you know, um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, you know, people that need to be sponsored and stuff or like a lot of sponsors out there like who they're like who can we sponsor who can we sponsor to have our business rise in you know money and popularity and stuff so basically i'm going to try and set up a business email to for anybody who wants to sponsor the show but then again this is the first show and obviously nobody's going to be you know not a lot of whole people are going to watch it, which is why I'm going to try and sponsor the heck out of the show by, you know, possibly, you know, I don't know, setting up posters, maybe. Well, not like posters, but flyers. Uh, but the thing is, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I really want the show to get some traction, but it's going to be, it's going to be tough, but I, but I think I can do it. If I can just get it, get, if I can get the show to go viral and, you know, just go absolutely out there, then maybe it's a possibility that I can get some sponsors and all that good stuff, but it just depends. It just depends. Oh, and I actually got a comment here from my good buddy, David Clark. He says, Big C back on the air. Yes, I am back on the air because I want to do it. I want to do the show and stuff. Also, um, <clears throat> oh man, I just got an idea. I can finally have Dave Clark on the show. I just realized I may have a guest on the show. Uh, David Clark. You know, he's been wanting to get on the show, but unfortunately I just haven't been able to get him on the show so maybe next time he's in Columbus he can do the show at noon in this spare room but um we'll see we'll see if you want to see David Clark on the show and see his shenanigans um just let me know in the comments and yeah but man me and David Clark, that'd be a recipe for disaster. I'm sorry. I, I I like David Clark, but man, he can get crazy and stuff. Seriously. Oh, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> Just the idea of it's making me go, whoa, bro, this could be bad or it could be good. Who knows? It just depends on how it goes. But then again, a lot of crazy stuff can happen. And a lot of cool stuff can happen. Interesting stuff can happen. It just depends. It just depends. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, man. So, yeah. This show is basically just like Big C in the morning, except it's two hours longer. There's more topics to talk about, even though I've done four topics before. So, yeah, I've done four topics before in, like, 30 minutes. Well, not 30 minutes, ugh, an hour. Um, but sometimes topics that, well, some topics may take just the first half of the show. Or... It may not. Like I could just do maybe four topics or it could be just three topics. Maybe a, a topic will take one hour and then the other two will take 30 minutes. Or, or, um, one, one, or like one topic could take an hour and the other topic could take an hour. Anything could happen. So it could be two topics. It could be three topics. It could be four topics. Anything. <coughs> So yeah. Ah. Get that Gatorade. Oh. 
Speaking of Gatorade, 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 if you're watching this, sponsor me. I, I, I would love to have a sponsorship. Please. I, I, I need sponsorships. Please. <sighs> what am I doing? What am I doing? Ugh. But yeah. Anybody, anybody out there, Nintendo sponsor me. Um, Spider-Man sponsor me, Marvel sponsor me, anybody. Man, talking about the sponsorships is making me go crazy. Ugh. But yeah, same show, two hours, two to four topics, maybe a show. Two, three, or four, a show, maybe, I don't know. Just depends on how long I want to talk about it. And, um, yeah, and there's some other stuff that I'm bringing back, but that'll be saved for the end of the show. Yeah, and you probably, you're probably thinking about what did you, what else did you bring back? Well, that is only for you to know, for, well, for, for, for only you to know later, and then for me to show you. So, yeah. That's, um, that's basically, that's basically how it is, you know, nowadays. Um, yeah. So, um, I think it's a good, I, I think it's a good time for me to take my second break here. So, we're going to take another break. But when we come back, we are going to talk about what has happened in the past two and a half years since I basically went off the air on WDG Underground Columbus and basically, you know, during that time I was not, you know, doing a show. Um, what happened in the news? What happened in sports? So yeah, what happened in news, sports, and other crazy stuff? Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll talk about that. It's pretty in, it's pretty crazy. So yeah. We'll talk about that after we after I finish my second break. So yeah. Stay tuned for that. <coughs> mm. Excuse me. So yeah. Gonna go to break now. You are listening to the Colton Rice Show exclusively on the Colton Rice Facebook page. So yeah. We'll be right back after this. Thank <laughs> you. 
time to discuss what has happened like in the world in the sports world the entertainment world the world world that has happened since I first left the show well let's take it back to when I when I ended the show back in uh, somewhere in September let me find that real quick do, 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 do. September, 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 September 3rd, 2021. Hell yes, I remember September 2021. Does anyone, well, technically September 3rd, 2021. Do you guys remember September 3rd, 2021? Because I do. That's when I ended my show, which was sad. Didn't want to. I didn't have a right to the studio, so I had to end it. <coughs> Excuse me. So. Uh, it was me talking about the Minnesota game that Ohio State won. It was awesome. But I was very skeptical about the defense, and skeptical I was. Because the next game, they played Oregon. They lost. For the first time ever, Ohio State lost to Oregon. And I was like, okay, our defense, our defense, offense, whatever it is, it, we, we, what is it? Why? But then, the next week, we beat Tulsa 41-20. I thought it was okay, even though we should have beaten them like 41 to 14 because it's Tulsa. And then we handily beat Akron, which is good. Then the next game, we destroy Rutgers, just like how it should be. And then we whop Maryland 66 to 17 in Ohio Stadium, which was beautiful. And then we whop Indiana 54 to 7 and Indiana which was awesome. But then we we struggled a little against Penn State 33-24 was a 9 point game. A little bit close. And then I don't know what was going on against Nebraska. Nebraska, we should have destroyed Nebraska, but unfortunately we just didn't. We nearly lost to Nebraska and I was about to throw a fit. But we won 26 to 17. And then we had to go up against Purdue. I remember Purdue. We I wanted revenge against Purdue for what they did to us in 2018. Beating us in their stadium? No. I did not like that. 
I did not like that at all. A lot of Ohio State fans didn't like that at all. They did not like that at all. And guess what? We beat Purdue 59-31. And I was happy. And then we play Michigan State. Number 7 Michigan State. The winner would basically, you know... the Basically, if Michigan State won, they would go to the Big Ten Championship. But if we won... We would continue to be first in the Big Ten East. And if we beat Michigan, we go to the Big Ten Championship again. And guess what? We destroy number seven, Michigan State, 56-7. to That was amazing. It was amazing. I was like, okay, it's time to beat Michigan once again. And go to the Big Ten Championship once again. And go to the playoff once again. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Michigan out of nowhere beat us 27 to 42. And I was sad. I wanted another Big Ten championship. I wanted to go to the playoffs. But the thing I heard from um, the Ohio State players is because they were dealing with the flu and stuff. Dude, you, like, did did you get your flu shot? Like, everybody should be having a flu shot. Like, Seriously, and CJ Stroud said he was playing with the flu. I was like, dude, come on. Where are your flu shots? Seriously. Oh, my goodness. I was extremely sad. I was extremely, extremely sad that Ohio State wasn't going to the playoffs, wasn't going to the Big Ten Championship. But instead, Michigan wins the Big Ten Championship, and they get to go to the playoffs. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Unbelievable. But there is a silver lining. Michigan lost to Georgia. That 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 is the only good thing that happened to Michigan in the playoffs. They lost. Yay. Thank you, Jesus. But you know, coming to the end of the year, everything was like Okay, 2021 sucked a little bit because Ohio State didn't, you know, win the big game, win the Big Ten Championship in football. But I have a silver lining. I know that next year is going to be good. And 2021, it, it, it's been an up and down year, but not that terrible. So we're going to go into 2022, you know, with big hearts and you know just going to be happy no like no sad news is going to happen before the year ends new year's eve sad news appeared out of nowhere out of nowhere in the middle of the afternoon betty white died on new year's eve 17 days away from her from her 100th birthday and, uh, and me and the rest of America went, Ah, oh, come on! You're going to kill off Betty White before the new year starts? Are you kidding me? Why? Why, God? Why? That's not... No, no, that is not... That is not what... That, that is not what we wanted. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 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 (coughs) Because think about it. I was excited to see Betty White turn 100. But unfortunately, no. Death just came out of nowhere. Just took that away from us. Literally, 2021. I was just, you know, doing my own thing. Mind my own business. And then all of a sudden, they'd RKO's me out of nowhere with the death of Betty White. And 2021 went from being meh okay to suck. It sucked. Sucked, 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 sucked. And I did not like that. So, yeah, Betty White died on the last day of 2021. And then the, and then the ball drops. Three, two, one, happy new year. It's 2022 now. I was like, okay. 
we had a rough end of 2021, but 2022, it's going to be different. It's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. We are going to have a good year here. I hope. Is what I said. I hope. Because um, January 1st, the Rose Bowl, it starts. And guess what? We won the Rose Bowl. Yay! We beat Utah in the Rose Bowl. 45, I mean, 48 to 45. So, yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I didn't mind, you know, winning the Rose Bowl. I mean, I wanted to win a national championship and a Big Ten championship, but, you know, Michigan, they just like to ruin stuff for us. For no reason. No apparent reason. So, yeah. So, Ohio State wins the Rose Bowl. Great start to 2022 already. But then, January 6th, five days later, um, we had a we had a pretty sad uh, celebrity death. Um, Sidney Poitier passed away. And I was like, wow, really? Because Sidney Poitier, he's been in Hollywood for a long time. He... He... Won an Academy Award for his performance in The Defiant Ones. And he became the first African American actor to win an Academy Award for Best Actor. Oh wait, I got that wrong. So, he earned an Academy Award nomination in 1958 for The Defiant Ones, but his Academy Award win came in the, his performance in Lilies of the Field. Okay, my bad, I read it wrong. I read it wrong. But yeah... Sidney Poitier, he was a just a, he was a, a great actor, and he also directed a lot of good movies. Um, but there's one movie that a lot of critics and fans hate, and it's some um, Ghost Dad that starred Bill Cosby. Nobody liked that movie. So yeah, and he also received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Obama back in uh, 2009. He also received Kennedy Center Honors in 1995 and an Honorary Academy Award in 2002. So, yeah, he's he did a lot of cool stuff in his life. He got an Oscar, an Honorary Oscar, and he got Kennedy Center Honors and the Presidential Medal of Freedom. It's a pretty good life. Passed away at the age of 94, and honestly, I thought he would, you know, break 100. Seriously. There's a lot of celebrities that should have broken 100. But, yeah, Never know when death is expected. Like, seriously. A lot of good people passing away. So it's like, okay, you know. That was a that was a pretty sad death. Sidney Poitier, man. I mean, he had a great quote. And that great quote was, They call me Mr. Tibbs. That was a great quote. That was an amazing quote. Seriously. Top Hollywood stuff. So yeah, I was like, okay, that's going to be the last major death for January. I mean, it was it was a pretty big one, but that is the last major death that we're going to have here. The last major death. There's not going to be any death in the rest of this year. Because why? It's just not going to happen. N- no. So that is going to be the last major death in all of Hollywood for this month we all thought that we all thought that until 2022 said hey would you like to see something insane and crazy and I was like uh uh no I I I think we should I think we just should move on we should move on the boom three days later Bob Saget dies, and I'm like, you you got to be kidding me. Bob Saget is dead. No, 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 no. Go back, go back. I want to go back, go back, go back. Don't want to, nope, nope, don't want to do it. Nope, 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 no, just no. But yeah, Bob Saget, Bob freaking Saget died three days later. Who would have thought Danny Tanner, the father in Full House, died three days later after Cindy Poitier died? 
Like, seriously, I'm like, oh my god, no. This, this is insane. This has to be a dream. I must be, somebody's probably tainted my food and drink. <coughs> I'm probably in a nightmare. I'm probably in H-E double hockey sticks. This is not life. But then I pinched myself and was like, oh god, it's real life. So yeah, Bob Saget, he, he died. And I asked myself, why? Just, just why? But, unfortunately, we didn't get his official cause of death until, like, months later. And we figured out um, that I think he died from, like, a cerebral hemorrhage. But I want to double check that. Because he hit his head on... Like the backboard of his um his hotel room bed. And I just want to double check that. So yeah. Blunt force trauma. Accidental blow to the back of the head. From a fall. And died from. Subdural hematoma. And subarachnoid hem- hemorrhage. In his sleep. So, yeah, basically he died of a brain hemorrhage. After accidentally hitting the back of his head on the board of his, like, um, hotel room bed. So, yeah, that was freaking sad. That Bob Saget died. Nobody thought would that Bob Saget would die. Nobody. Seriously. And he was only 65. So. Obviously 2022 was out for blood. I was like. Gosh dang it. It's going to be like 2020 and 2016 now all over again. Because 2016 and 2020 were the years of death. Like big celebrity deaths. And it was just sad. It was freaking sad man. It was going to be another one of these like years of death. <clears throat> so yeah so after that happened we just moved on we just moved on and we were hoping that nothing the no bad deaths were gonna happen like nothing make sure nothing happens to any other big celebrities because let me tell you something if anybody else died we were going to be angry just extremely be angry so yeah so a a few days pass after the death of you know um, Bob Saget you know 11 days pass, you know, everything's all good and dandy, everything seems, seems pretty fine. And then, I don't know where a big train comes around and says, hey everybody, like the train driven by 2022 says, hey everybody, guess what, Meatloaf's dead. I was like, oh come on, come on, you're gonna kill Meatloaf now, 2022, what is up with that, what is up with that, so yeah, Meatloaf died. Meatloaf, the singer that sung, I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. That guy. And also had other great songs like Bat Out of Hell, Paradise by the Dashboard Light. You know, a lot of, a lot of great songs. He died. So I was like, okay, that, that, that's not cool, dude. That's, that's not cool. 2022. That, that was pretty, pretty messed up. 
pretty messed up here. Like, seriously. What did we do to deserve Meatloaf dying? The answer is nothing. Because you want to know why it wasn't supposed to happen. Like, none of these celebrity deaths were supposed to happen. Seriously. That was just uncalled for and totally messed up. And then 2022 is like, oh, oh, but I'm not done with just Meatloaf. No, 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 no. This was the same day. This news was the same day as Meatloaf. In 2022, 2022 is like, oh, it isn't just Meatloaf that just died. Oh, g g guess what? Louis Anderson's dead. And I was like, oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Louis Anderson, really? You're gonna... Louis Anderson's dead now? Seriously. Louis Anderson. He hosted Family Feud from like... The, like I think like 1998 to 2002 and then Rex Kern... I mean, not Rex Kern... Richard Karn took over. Um, yeah. Louis Anderson. Comedian. Brung back Family Feud when he was the host. Ho well, he hosted. I don't think he brought it back, but he hosted the revival. Like a third revival of Family Feud. And basically won an Emmy for his role in the TV show Baskets. And apparently he had cancer and he died from cancer. I was like, come on. Are you serious? We should not be losing anybody. We lost we lost Sidney Poitier, Bob Saget, um Meatloaf, and now Louis Anderson. You know, there's a quote that says they all come in threes. Like three celebrities dying. All at the same time. They come in threes. Like three big names. They all come in threes. Like one big name dies. Then two more should die. Because they all come in threes. Like seriously. What the actual heck dude. We did not sign up for this. Did not sign up for this. Oh boy. Well isn't that great. Well it's not great. It's very sad. So yeah. So, after that, I was like, okay, that is the last celebrity death, well-known celebrity death we will ever see. That's the last one. That's the last one we will ever see for about maybe a couple of months. No, nope, I was wrong again. Ivan Reitman, the director of Ghostbusters, died. I was like, really? Now Ivan Reitman died? Come on. Really? You're going to kill the director of Ghostbusters. Because, you know, stuff. So, yeah. Ivan Reitman died at the age of 75. You know, 2022. Just, just give it us so many celebrity deaths for no apparent reason. Because why? I don't know. So, yeah. Ivan Reitman died. I was sad because I really enjoyed Ghostbusters. And he just got done with, you know, Ghostbusters Afterlife, which was great. And he helped, like, he helped, like, pro I'm pretty sure he produced it and or wrote it. I'm not sure. But his son, Jason, also directed it. So, obviously, that was the last movie he helped, he helped make. And just for him to die out, out of nowhere, it's friggin' sad. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, Ivan Reitman died. I was like, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me take a drink of my Gatorade. Okay. So I was like, okay. That is the last death I will ever see. For a couple of months. Because, seriously, five major celebrity deaths... That's that's being overkill. Seriously. That has to be the end. It has to be. It better be. Because if not, I'm going to be angry. 
Well, apparently in March, specifically March 14th, um, wrestler Scott Hall, who was also known by many WWE fans as Razor Ramon, died after suffering multiple heart attacks after getting his hip replaced. I was like, oh man, for Scott Hall to go out that way, that is just, oh man. That is just sad. Seriously. Scott Hall, four-time WWE Intercontinental Champion, two-time WCW World Heavyweight Champion, a six-time Tag Team Champion with Kevin Nash, and getting inducted to the Hall of Fame in 2014, he did a lot of great stuff in wrestling. Even f- helped forming the NWO, the New World Order. You know, the NWO with him, Kevin Nash, and Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Or Hollywood Hogan, however you want to call him. But yeah, Hulk Hogan was there. And, man, just to see that death, I was like, dang. 2022 is not pulling any punches. It is becoming extremely sad over there. Extremely sad for 2022. And I was like, something has to change really quick. Something has to change. Like, like good change. And if not, then 2022 is going to suck. So I was like, okay, that's probably going to be the last, um, last major death for a cup for, for a while. And then Taylor Hawkins, the drummer for the Foo Fighters passed away at the age of 50. And I was like, dang, now you're going to take a member of the Foo Fighters away. What are you doing? 2022. No, 2022. What are you doing? What are you doing? Seriously. What is 2022 doing? I don't know. But yeah. Another sad celebrity death. Taylor Hawkins. Dies. From the, the Foo Fighters. He was a drummer of the Foo Fighters. And with Alanis Morissette's man. So. That's double sad. Seriously. Come on. I was like, okay. <coughs> that was sad. But. And. You know. 2022. It's gotta stop. It's gotta stop. And hopefully. It will stop. It didn't stop. Cause like. A couple weeks later. Gilbert Gottfried died. I'm like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Gilbert Gottfried, the parrot in Aladdin, and also the bird digit in Cyber Chase, died too? I was like, come the frick on. You have got to be kidding me. (coughs) Gilbert Gottfried, one of the most well-known comedians and... Very, and a little bit controversial, a little bit controversial comedian, died. Out of nowhere. I'm like, okay. This is getting too much. I don't think I want to, I don't think I want to, you know, do anything for the rest of the year. But I still went on. I'm pretty sure the rest of America still went on because of these crazy celebrity deaths that went out that just came out of nowhere. So yeah, we still went on because because we just did. And then big news out in the country music world like a couple days later, like days later, Naomi Judd um passed away. Um she apparently passed away from a self-inflicted gunshot wound, which is very sad. Um, 
apparently she was ill and apparently she took her own life and that is very sad um did not think that you know this would happen to anyone especially now we judd i mean it's crazy so i was like wow that that is shocking and it's a shocking to a lot of people. Because Naomi Judd was really good at, you know, <coughs> um, you know, country music and singing. I mean, she won five Grammys. And, like, with her daughter Winona. And she was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame last year. Well, technically in 2021, which was last year. And then she passed away a year later in 2022, which is very sad. So, yeah. Another very sad death in the world of entertainment. I was like, okay. Hopefully we can get a break from all these sad celebrity deaths. We did get a break. Only it was a month. Because Ray Liotta died. Yeah, Ray Liotta died from the guy from Goodfellas, Field of Dreams, and, you know, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, because he played the protagonist in Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Tommy Versetti. He died. Ray Liotta died, and I was like, you have got to be kidding me. Everybody was like, this has to stop. When will the madness end? It... It, 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 it didn't end. It, it, it wasn't ending. Ray Liotta. Out of nowhere. Dead. So basically 2022 just climbed up the top rope and just smacked us down onto the freaking floor. And yeah, Ray Liotta. She, she did they, he died. Like, dude. Dude. You gotta be kidding me. Why? Ray Liotta. Why? Why did it have to be Ray Liotta? So, yeah. Ray Liotta died. Very sad. I was like, okay. Yeah. That, that, that is not cool. And then we had, you know, no major celebrity deaths in June that I can recall of so since we were halfway through the 2022 saga of stuff oh there's something I forgot to mention during 2022 Russia invaded Ukraine why I don't know my guessing is they want to reform the Soviet Union or just make Russia big who knows and it's still going on the invasion of Ukraine still going on, and we still have no, don't know what Russia is doing. I just do not know. I do not know. So yeah. But yeah, um, that is basically it for the first half of 2022. If I missed anything, just let me know, and I'll explain it on the air. But um. Yeah, a lot of crazy stuff happened, a lot of sad celebrity deaths, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to take a quick break right here, so when we come back, we'll discuss the second, um, the second half of 2022 and why it also kind of sucks, or definitely sucks, so yeah, stick around. You are watching the Cone Rice Show exclusively on the Cone Rice Facebook page. We'll be back. <laughs> Back, 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 back
All right, we are back, and uh, yeah. So, um, actually, I gotta read some comments here. It says, uh, This one is from a good buddy of mine, Callan, and he says, Big C listening from Reno, brother. Oh yeah, I forgot he was he was going to bowl the national championship for the USBC. Hmm. I wish I was in Reno, to be honest, bowling for a national championship. But oh well. But I know Callan's gonna do good, and he also says, "Oh man." Yeah. Yeah. So Callan, if 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 you don't win big money in this national championship, um. Um, damn, that's all I gotta say, damn. 
All right. So, um, yeah. So let's move on with the rest of uh, 2022. So, you know, everything seems good with 2022. I mean, the Queen celebrates her Platinum Jubilee or whatever it was called. There are 70 years in, you know, being the Queen of England. That's cool. Then, uh, then we had a, another sad death. James Caan died. He was a he was an actor in the uh, Godfather. He also was in Elf, which I actually liked. Elf. Elf was a good Christmas movie, but man, James Caan. That was a pretty sad death. Um, I really liked him in Elf though, as Santa Claus. He was a pretty good Santa Claus. I'm pretty sure it was Santa Claus. Or maybe it was the dead. I don't know. I can't remember. I haven't watched Elf in a while. Then you got um, a couple days later. Um, Shinzo Abe. The former Prime Minister of Japan. Um, was shot by um, a former Navy serviceman in Japan. Like a former Japanese Navy serviceman. Who apparently um, did not like Shinzo Abe, and then they like the they tried to save him, but he he sadly passed away. And honestly, that's like the first major assassination that I can remember. Like, when was the last time a like a former like a leader or former leader got assassinated? Like, that was that is pretty that's pretty crazy. And he and Japan has like the strictest like gun laws out there, and it was and he was assassinated with a homemade gun. And like, how did this guy make a make a gun in in Japan? Like, whoa, just whoa. And that was pretty shocking and sad. Seriously, like, wow. Did not think Shinzo Abe would pass away. And then you got Tony Sirico, who is um. Another, um, you know, actor who uh, played in mafia movies like Goodfellas and stuff. He also was in The Sopranos. He passed away, which was pretty sad. And I think he, I think he was also in Family Guy as well as um, Vinny the Dog for a few episodes. And they brought back Brian when he, when fans like were mad that he died. Uh, let's see, any other deaths? Oh yeah. Uh, Donald Trump's former wife, Ivana, she died. Um, she sadly fell down the stairs and died. Which was pretty shocking. It, it, that came out of nowhere. Alright, let's see, what else happened? Oh yeah, Paul Sorvino. Uh, he was on Law and & Order and, uh, also Goodfellas. And he also played Henry Kissinger in Nixon. Uh, he died. Again, 2022, just eliminating good, well-known actors and people, like, out of nowhere. Seriously, it's, it's out of nowhere. And it, 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 it should have stopped. But no, it, it just keeps going, folks. It just keeps going. Like, Nichelle Nichols from Star Trek, uh, she passed away. And I was like, wow, really? You're gonna, you're gonna do that? Seriously. Why? Why are they taking good, good people away from us? But, again, it doesn't stop. And here's a big athlete death. Like, this is probably one of the biggest athlete deaths in a long time. Um, Bill Russell... Probably one of the greatest players, and possibly the greatest player, in all of the NBA. He passed away, sadly. And everyone was shocked. Even I was shocked. Like, a lot of people who have watched the sport of basketball, or, or even heard of the name Bill Russell, they know, like, who are they talking about? Like, Bill Russell was like one of the most dominant players in the league and he was also a pretty good coach. He coached the Celtics to a bunch of championships. Even, you know, 
even as a player, winning them a bunch of championships, along with, you know, um, John Havlicek. He was a teammate of Bill Russell's, pretty sure. But, man, just to hear that, hear the passing of Bill Russell, that was shocking. That was shocking. And I was like, okay. There, there has to be some kind of stoppage to this, but no. 2022 just wants to be like, hey, hey, buddy. Here's some more stuff that you need to see. And Vin Scully, the uh, former announcer for the Los Angeles Dodgers, he died. That was pretty sad. A lot of a lot of baseball fans who know Vin Scully are just freaking sad. Like, seriously, Vin Scully. You gotta take away Vin Scully. That's not cool. But then 2022 just... just just to just they just curve stomp us with this one olivia newton john olivia newton john died took it took her away from us after a battle with cancer that is just i was like ugh. when will when will this sad amount of death end it's just like endless it's like walking on an endless road of like sadness and depression and everything like come on stop stop right now before we get more sad and pissed but no apparently 2022 didn't listen and hesh passed away that's the next big celebrity death and it was after she suffered injuries in a car accident and her her car accidents the most craziest thing ever like there was when they were investigating that like found like alcohol bottles and like i think cocaine maybe but i'm not sure i'm pretty i i I was reading a news story about it like like recently because i knew that i was going to be talking about this because she died in 2022 like seriously her death was very sad like she died in a car crash well, you know, high and drunk and see folks, um, doing drugs is bad. So please don't do drugs and don't do drugs and alcohol while driving. It's very sad and pretty shocking. And Hesh died. She was also, um, she was also, she also dated, um, um, Ellen DeGeneres at one point, which was, which was pretty interesting to me. Um, yeah. Crazy stuff happening. And then... Like... Almost the last day of August... Like, August 30th... The final leader of the Soviet Union, Mikhail Gorbachev, died. I was like, wow. The guy who basically eased up on communism... Passed away after, you know... Doing all this crazy stuff for... You know, Russia for the Soviet Union, basically dropping the Soviet Union and basically just ended communism kind of in Russia. But technically, it's still around, technically, because Putin and stuff. But yeah, they killed Gorbachev, um, removed the Iron Curtain, basically let McDonald's in. And basically just, you know, did a lot of crazy stuff for um, Russia that was like non-communist, but... It led to the end of the Soviet Union, and thus, the end of whatever, which was pretty interesting. And then, you know, we get to September. September, oh boy. That means Buckeye football is back, which means... It's time to talk about Buckeye football a little bit before, you know, I go back into talk about what happened, sadly, in deaths in September. So, okay, I just noticed we got 10 minutes left, so I'm going to try and go quick. So, first game of the year, I guess it's our day, well, Ohio State wins 21-10, but Jackson, Smith, and Jigba, who should have been a Heisman candidate... But unfortunately, it didn't happen because he got injured by Notre Dame, and I got angry. Because why? 
Why, why, why? And then after that game, um, another celebrity death happened. Queen Elizabeth, after celebrating her 70th year as the Queen of England, passed away, sadly. And now Charles is now king. Long live the king and stuff. Which was, and the queen's death was pretty shocking. I, it came out of nowhere. We all thought, you know, yeah, queen's gonna be around for a while. Then boom, she dies. Very sad. Very, very sad. Now back to Ohio State football after that brief interruption about celebrity deaths. So, second game of the season, Arkansas State. Ohio State wins 45-12 to handily, leaving only Arkansas State with field goals. That's pretty good. And then we demolished Toledo 77-21 saying, yeah, that's what we do to mid-American conference teams because they're not that good. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the next week we play Wisconsin, destroyed Wisconsin 52-21, and basically Wisconsin's coach got fired because, well, he got blown up by Iowa State because... We're, we're just that good. We're just that good. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, and now we're back to celebrity debts. Um, this one was pretty shocking. Louise Fletcher, the, um, the actress who won an Oscar for her portrayal of Nurse Ratchet in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, passed away. That was pretty shocking. Came out of nowhere. Came out of nowhere. And then, and then days later, another shocking death out of nowhere. Coolio passed away. I'm like, wow, really? The guy who created uh, the greatest song of all time, one of the greatest songs of all time, Gangster's Paradise, died. And then he also and he also made the theme song for the show Keenan and Kel, which I watched as a child, and that was pretty good. And he died. I'm, I'm like, wow, really? Really? You're going to take away Coolio? You're going to take Coolio away from us? Why? That that is not that is not cool. That's just not cool. No. That that is unfair. It is unfair to us as, you know, Americans and, you know, fans of, you know, certain types of, you know, songs and media and celebrities and all that good stuff to have this happen to us. It's not cool. Absolutely not cool. And then now back to Ohio State football. We destroy Rutgers 49 to 10. And then we take care of Michigan State 49 to 20. Obviously, we know how to deal with these guys. And then bye week. Now back to celebrity deaths. Now this one is a very sad celebrity death because I watched this guy in during my childhood. Robbie Coltrane. The guy who played Hagrid in in Harry Potter died. And I was like. Come on, you're going to take Hagrid away from us? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, you're going to take ha Hagrid away from us? What have we done to deserve... To, what What have we... What did we do to take away Hagrid? To, to lose Hagrid? Seriously. What did we do? What in the world did we do to lose Hagrid? That's just messed up. That's just messed up, man. And then, um... Another shocking death in the world. Um, Leslie Jordan. Um, he died suddenly. Apparently, he had a heart attack while driving, and he just he just died. He crashed his car and he died. It's very sad. I mean, seriously, death out of nowhere. It it's it's not cool. It's not cool. Absolutely not cool. And now back to um. Ohio State football. Ohio State took down Iowa up uh, 54 to 10, which was pretty good. But yeah. <coughs> Man. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Another sad celebrity death. Jerry Lee Lewis. He passed away. He was the guy who sung that big hit. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. That was a pretty good song. And he pa he passed away. Another sad and shocking celebrity death. Didn't didn't know what was happening, but it happened. 
out of nowhere. Happened out of nowhere. And then Ohio State played Penn State. Struggled a little bit, but they took care of business 44-31 to at Penn State, which was good because if Ohio State didn't win, I was going to be angry. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, um, takeoff, um, one-third of the hip-hop group Migos, um, was shot and killed, uh, November 1st in Houston, which was very sad, like, seriously. Migos is a great rap group, great rap and hip-hop group, and then some guy had to shoot take off for no reason and he and he, he died like why what like what what why would anybody shoot any celebrity like seriously it's it's messed up it's messed up man it's totally messed up then a couple days later Aaron Carter younger brother of Backstreet Boy member Nick Carter died um, and everybody was shocked. Seriously. Like, Aaron Carter, he had some problems, but they didn't, but we didn't know it would take his life. Those problems would, I don't know where, take his life. Like, seriously. Came out of nowhere. Another death. Coming out of nowhere. And now back to Ohio State football. Um... Uh, Northwestern, uh, high school play Northwestern, took care of Northwestern 21-7. It was rainy, and it was very concerning. Uh, so yeah. Now back to celebrity deaths. Um, Kevin Conroy, the voice of Batman, died. I was like, oh, really? You're gonna take, you're gonna take Batman away from us? One of the, one of the Batman actors away from us? That, that is messed up. Seriously. Why? <coughs> we did not ask for that and therefore did not like that we 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 did not like that did not like that at all like seriously what is up with that that is messed up that is super messed up all right now back to ohio state football you know what, I think we're just going to finish the Ohio State football and then back to celebrity deaths. Because you need to, you guys need to know about what happened to Ohio State because this is big. Um, so we beat Indiana at home, 56-14. We almost somehow lose to Maryland, but we beat them 43-30. And then the next week, Michigan. It looks like we're going to... We have a chance to beat them. We have a chance to go back to the Big Ten Championship. <coughs> Excuse me. And then get a, you know, just a big top spot in the playoffs. No. It doesn't happen. We lose to Michigan a second time in a row. That hasn't happened since the John Cooper era. And, <coughs> uh, excuse me. But that's messed up. We lost... To Michigan twice. I'm angry. I throw a huge fit. And I ask myself why. Why does this year suck? I don't know. But then the, the next week. Michigan goes on to win the Big Ten. And they get to spawn the playoffs. But guess what? We also get to spawn the playoffs. Because USC lost the Pac-12 championship game. <coughs> Excuse me. And therefore... We play Georgia in the Peach Bowl, and then Michigan plays TCU in the Fiesta Bowl. I'll get to that in a second, but back to celebrity deaths. Um, Christy Alley. Kirstie Alley. Kirstie Alley. She died. That was that was sad. She was sad. She passed away from cancer, and that's extremely sad. She was on Cheers, Drop Dead Gorgeous, Look Who's Talking. Did a lot of movies and stuff and TV and that was pretty shocking. But this death, oh man, this death was pretty shocking too. 
um, Twitch, whose real name is Steven Boss, um, he was a, a dancer on, he was a dancer and also a choreographer, and he also appeared on, uh, So You Think You Can Dance, and also, <coughs> um, he made countless appearances on the Ellen DeGeneres show and ended up being the show's DJ and also an executive producer on the show. And then when the show ended, um, all of a sudden he sadly passed away from suicide. Self-inflicted gunshot wound. I mean, when I heard about that, I was like, wow, that is, that isn't, that is crazy. Like, you never, you never know, like, you never see, like, every time I see, I, I saw Twitch, he was happy. Like, you never know, like, how, like, deep down, how they were actually feeling. Like, seriously. It's pretty, it's pretty sad, man. Never thought, you know, Twitch would take his own life. You never thought it would happen. Never thought. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh, man. This cough is getting crazy. Ah. But still, you never you never know, like, when, you know, somebody like Twitch would, you know. Like, you never know. You just never know when they're feeling sad or something. It's just extremely sad. But here's another sad sports death. Um... Franco Harris, who, um, who is best known for the Immaculate Reception, um, <coughs> he passed away, and it was days before they were going to celebrate the 50th anniversary of that play. Like, seriously, the Pittsburgh Steelers organization were having this big thing for the 50th anniversary, and then days before the celebration and the game, like, the game that they were going to celebrate that Immaculate reception. He passes away. And that was just extremely sad. Like. Wow. Unbelievable. And I felt bad for the. For the fans of the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm a Browns fan. But man. For a Steelers legend to just not celebrate. The 15th anniversary of. What he helped. The Steelers organization with. That was crazy. <coughs> That was crazy. And it's very sad. Uh, yeah. Um. So, next celebrity death. Soccer legend Pele passed away after... Um. A brief illness. He won, like... A bunch of World Cups. Seriously. He won... A ton of World Cups, and basically he was named the Athlete of the Century by the International Olympic Committee, and yeah, Pele died out of nowhere. And then, the next celebrity death is pretty shocking too, Barbara Walters passed away. Um, if you don't know who Walter Walbert, Bar Barbara Walters is, um... She was a she was a journalist for ABC for a long time. She even hosted uh 2020. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh she passed away. And that was pretty shocking. It came out of nowhere. And then finally, the last death surprisingly on the 31st of December, the last day of the year. Pope Benedict the Sixteenth died. Yeah, you know Pope Benedict the Sixteenth, the guy who basically re resigned after you know got old being the Pope and stuff. So yeah, he died, which also also out of nowhere. And I thought he died already, but I guess not. So yeah, and then uh, 2022 had a lot of crazy uh, sports moments as well. We'll get to those right now. Um, the Rams won the Super Bowl. Um, 
Astros won the World Series for some reason. <coughs> um, Colorado Avalanche won the NHL, won the Stanley Cup, which is pretty cool. Um, Golden State Warriors finally back on top as the NBA champions in 2022. And yeah, that's what basically happened in sports in 2022. But now for the last part of the Ohio State thing. Um, so, Ohio State in the playoffs about, we, we play Georgia. And then the final seconds of the game, we had to kick a field goal to win the Peach Bowl and possibly head to the national championship. <coughs> and it's a 50 yard field goal. Our kickers has kicked 50 yard field goals before. So it should be, you know, an open and shut case. We, sh- we got this. We got this in the bag. Apparently we didn't. We shanked that wide left. And Ohio State loses the Peach Bowl. Georgia wins. They go on to win the national championship handily against TCU. And yeah, I'm, I'm sad. S- sad that Ohio State still can't win a national championship. And if we have, and I have to, if I have to win, an, if I have to wait another 12 years for another national championship, I'm going to be mad. But yeah. All right. Well, I just got done talking about um stuff. All that stuff that happened while I was gone. A lot of insane, insane stuff has happened. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments. Because I'm pretty sure I missed a lot of stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, before we end the show, it's about time I reveal the two things I brought back from my previous show. Because I, early in the broadcast, I um, told you guys I was bringing back two things that I created during my time on my WDG, my WDG show. And and uh, we're about to, um, we're about to, um, you know, reveal it. We're about to, I'm about to reveal it. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you the return of the Friday Shoutout. Yep, I brought back the Friday shout out. What's up? What's up? I brought back the Friday shout out. So, today's Friday, sh- well, this week's Friday shout out goes to a podcast that actually helped me, you know, want to do this kind of stuff again. And that bought, bo- uh, excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Jeez. Um, that podcast that helped me return to what I like to do is the disc only podcast if you don't know what that podcast is well um it's a podcast that contains three well-known um uh cro- content creators uh their names are proton john tom fox Stephen george and the 8-bit drummer um basically they made a podcast um just to talk about random stuff that's happening in life and Basically, you know, things that happened in the past, happened in present day, and talk about other crazy stuff. Um, they actually helped me wanting, helped me want to get back into what I like to do, like podcasting, radio show hosting. Because, you know, someday I want to become a radio show host, or maybe just, you know, do my own thing on this podcast. And they inspired me to do this podcast again. <laughs> we'll just do this podcast and get back into what I am known to do before. So yeah, um, they do the show every first, um, I think Tuesday of the month on um on Twitch. Um, it's gonna be on Proton John's Twitch. So if you just go to Twitch dot com and then type in Proton John. Um, 
you'll be able to watch the Disc Holy Podcast every first Tuesday of the month. Because they don't do it every week. They every they do it on a monthly basis. But if you don't have Twitch or something, um, you can watch the you can listen to the audio version. <coughs> um, wherever you, wherever you get your podcasts, like Spotify, Google Podcasts, um, Apple Podcasts, any of those podcasts. And then if you want to watch like the the actual stream of the podcast is going to be on twitch.com slash proton john um you can also watch the video version as well on youtube just go to just type in proton john's live stream recordings or just type in disc only podcast it'll pop up there for you but yeah that podcast is um is what brought me back to do this this podcast so yeah so yeah, the Friday shout out goes to the Disc Only podcast, which can which uh, their hosts are again Proton John, Tom Fox, Stephen George, and the Eight Bit Drummer. So yeah, Friday shout out to the Disc Only podcast. All right, so the other thing I brought back is um a little thing that we we like to call around um is when somebody you know made a big goof or screwed up majorly <clears throat> and that thing is called the fumble of the week ah oh, crap yeah i brought back the fumble of the week and this week's fumble of the week goes to my immune system because I am not a hundred percent still. I still have that cough, as you saw, because you know sore throat, cold, common cold I have. <coughs> but I will be getting rid of it. So next week, I you you'll probably still hear me cough, but that's because you know I've been talking a long time. But yeah. But the next week, I will get rid of that. I'll get rid of this cold. I won't feel stuffy and stuff. And basically, I will just be normal old me. Because, you know, being sick sucks. It it, it extremely sucks. So, yeah. Fumble of the week goes to my immune system. Because, why not? Why not? But, yeah. Well, anyways, guys. That is it for this week's show. I hope I inform. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. I hope I informed you all of what I how I wanted to talk about today, and hopefully, you guys will join me as I do a bunch of these shows for you. Because why not? <coughs> so yeah. So I'd like to thank you all for tuning in today. Uh, next week. I'm going to have some topics to talk about, we'll talk about them, and it's going to be great because I am back, and I like to be back. So, yeah. So, again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next week for, um, next week we'll talk about, um, this movie I saw called Spider-Man No Way Home. <coughs> Excuse me. And then... We'll talk about um, March Madness and why I sucked at it. So yeah, it'll basically be a post-March Madness uh, show as well. And also me talking about Spider-Man No Way Home, which is pretty good. So yeah, that's next week's show. And uh, yeah, we're going to get out of here. So thank you again for tuning in, guys. This has been the Colton Rice Show, exclusively airing on... The Colton Rice Facebook page. So with that, guys, I will see you all next week. So, yeah, see you guys later. Disappointed! I can already tell this is going to be great. It's going to be really great.